So the financial accounting course really covers an introduction to accounting and we start with understanding the accounting equation and it's kind of really the, the, the foundation of the balance sheet and it helps the participants hugely to get an understanding uh, of the financial statements. From there we lead into the income statement and then uh, we uh, conclude with the cash flow statement. But what's really important is that we try and get a link between all of those statements uh, and how all of them are linked, particularly then how any external factors could flow through and affect those, those financial statements. So it's very much financial statement driven, but it's always with a commercial impact. Okay. So there are three main learning objectives, cash flow, cash flow, and cash flow. So cash flow pays your salaries, cash, cash flow pays the, 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 the people running the business. Cash flow will assist in uh, extending the life of the business to do fixed asset acquisitions, to do uh, company acquisitions, and also to do the, the very necessary research and development in, pharma, in the pharma business. And cash flow makes shareholders happy because they get a return on their investment and hopefully uh, dividends. So really understanding what liquidity is, because liquidity pays the debt that's due in a business. It also, I, I guess terminology is really important for these guys. And so it just clarifies a lot of the financial terms for them and how it links into the pharma industry. We, we spent quite a lot of time looking at research and development and how that's first of all uh, commercialized and accounted for and what makes it so, why, may, why is it so important in the pharma industry and then linking it back to the financial statements. And I guess the overriding takeaway really is that the guys left with uh, a really good foundation in financial statements uh, but how that links again commercially.